be better. Head and shoulders, dandruff hair for great looking hair. You're watching MCTV, TV that hits home. CTV News Evening Edition with Jill Armstrong and Tony Reimer. Good evening. Tonight on the MCTV Evening News, the federal cabinet met today pondering the future of Prime Minister Brian Mulroney. And we have all the details of day two of the preliminary hearing into a 47-year-old murder. Jill with our top story. Trade Minister Michael Wilson says the U.S. is only hurting itself by slapping provisional duties on Canadian steel. It'll just lead to retaliation against American steel producers here. Wilson says a bilateral agreement is needed to ensure this type of action is avoided in the future. The proposal has received the blessing of the Canadian steel industry and the Steelworkers Union. But as Tony Calabracci reports, attempts to establish a steel pact may not be an easy thing to do. MCTV News, Sault Ste. Marie. Well, I would guesstimate that we received anywhere between 6 to 10 centimeters of freshly fallen snow here in Sault Ste. Marie and along the North Shore today. In case you hadn't noticed, it's been consistently snowing all day long here in Sault Ste. Marie. Good news, though, there was not a lot of wind involved with that, so really it didn't make it too, too uncomfortable for us. As well, those mild temperatures continued. We're headed for Bon Sou, so we'll let you know what we have in store for you when we come back in just a while. smaller building, some people may have to wait outside if there's a long lineup. A close call at the Timmins Airport. Early this morning, the landing gear on a small plane collapsed as it taxied down the runway. None of the four people on board was hurt. The affected runway was closed for three hours. Damage to the aircraft is minor. Ontario's opposition Tories say taxpayers paid $182,000 to a former trade ambassador to do nothing for four months. Former New York Agent General Carlton Masters took a leave of absence last August after two female employees complained that he sexually harassed them. Masters then mysteriously departed from the post in December. Harris says Masters was paid while he sat on his hands during the four-month investigation. 20,000 people are going to be looking at your picture every, uh, every day. when we return a British scandal of a different kind. North American stocks tonight. Dow Jones at New York up 14 points. TSE Composite in Toronto dipping three. Gold up three quarters of a dollar. Silver up two cents. Nickel no change and copper down one quarter of a cent U.S. spot price. The dollar finishes this day 78.76 cents U.S. No change in prime lending rates for consumers or business. Inco down an eighth of a dollar for North Aranda, Falconbridge, Kitt Creek down seven eighths. Rio Algum up an eighth. Denison, no change. Northern Telecom down 50 cents. Bell Canada up three eighths of a dollar. Placer Dome up one eighth of a dollar per share. I'm Don Chapman and that's the bottom line. Luann is here once again with a look at the weather and what a difference a day makes. Yesterday Certainly. it was sunny but a little cool. Today yeah. we've got some snow and I understand it's going to get colder. It's going to get bitterly cold overnight tonight. Actually we have a wind chill warning in effect. It's going to be extremely cold overnight. So take cover quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know what's happening. You can see that there's some very cool air coming our way. If you just take a quick look at the jet stream, some cold, cold Arctic air coming down towards Sault Ste. Marie, pushing the jet stream down and sandwiching in some uh, warm air that we're not going to feel the effects of for a little while. For the next two nights anyway, going to be extremely cool. There is some light at the end of the tunnel, though, as you see the jet stream progressing and lifting somewhat means some warm air on the way. We'll let you know how cold it's going to get overnight tonight, and we'll let you know when the warm temperatures are going to begin in two minutes. Hi again. We want to give you just a couple of details in regards to that wind chill warning that we have in effect, probably starting as early 
night tonight is going to dip down to about minus 30, but the winds are going to pick up to about 50 kilometers an hour, making it very cold. It's going to feel about minus 45 out there, and actually skin can freeze at those temperatures and with the wind combined in less than one minute. So extremely uh, important for you folks to be very careful if you're headed out at all tonight. Please make sure that uh, you're not going too far away from any uh, shelter. Same thing basically going to happen. Very cool day in the forecast for us tomorrow. And those cold temperatures are going to continue basically overnight tomorrow night as we uh, enjoy the Bonsu festivities getting underway. We're expecting lows on Friday night in around minus 38. Things are going to level off though for Saturday. Now the low pressure system that you see is moving fairly quickly out of the area and the high pressure really is bringing uh, in those cold temperatures a very, very cold patch of Arctic air associated with the front of the high pressure system, as we mentioned. It's not going to last an extremely long time. It's going to pass fairly quickly to be replaced by more clouds and perhaps some flurry activity, but temperatures promise to warm up probably around Saturday. In Vancouver, we're looking at showers tomorrow with highs of 10 degrees. Meanwhile, zero there with Calgary high of 6 degrees. Really nice temperatures there. A little cooler in Regina and Winnipeg with highs of minus 13 degrees. They're expecting some nice sunny skies, though. To the east, a little bit 40 now. It's clearing up in Ottawa and Montreal as we speak. Highs of minus 5 in their forecast tomorrow. In the Maritimes, um, some light snow tomorrow for them as they still uh, receive benefits from the low pressure system. Minus 3 for folks there. And in St. John's, some cloudy skies as the double end of the low pressure system begins to affo uh, affect folks there with highs of minus 4 degrees. Now regionally, you can see by these highs, things are getting very, very cold. Minus 29 in Capus Casing and Timmins for their high for the day tomorrow. Minus 18 here at home. Minus 24 in Sudbury and in North Bay. Minus 20 in Little Current. And look at the difference for Perry Sound, a high of minus 8 degrees. Now we'll take a look at our details for you, starting with overnight tonight. Snow ending early, followed by partial clearing tonight. Brisk northwest winds to about 50 kilometers, giving high wind chill values near 1900 watts per square meter. Overnight lows, minus 24 to minus 34, with an effective temperature of 40 overnight tonight. Now for the forecast, tomorrow sunny with some cloudy periods, isolated flurries near the lake. Bitterly cold tomorrow, highs minus 18 to minus 22 for daytime highs. And for Saturday, increasing cloudiness with snow developing late in the day. Morning lows Saturday morning, minus 25 to minus 38, but not so cold in the daytime with highs near minus 10 degrees. And currently the temperature is minus 9. The wind's from the east at 7 kilometers an hour. The pressure is at 100.4 and the humidity is at 85%. If you happen to be interested in winning a 20-inch Sony Trinitron color TV, tonight's ski trivia question is which Nordic skiing techniques are the most common? Once again, which Nordic skiing techniques are the most common? And please remember to uh, send all of your answers to MCTV Ski Trivia, Post Office Box 370, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, P6A 5 and 2. And that tonight is our weather word. Bundle up, it's going to be very cold. Jill and Peter, what do you have next? Well, Luann, lots of football news today. Peter reached you with his sports. Pete, I guess you can count on it. It'd be a lot warmer uh, where Super Bowl is being held. Boy, the, uh, the Dallas Cowboys and the Buffalo Bills sure hope so. This is getting ridiculous. It's so cold. Super Bowl 27, uh, Sunday in Pasadena, where, as Jill mentioned, it's a little bit warmer. We'll have a story on Super Bowl preparations on the sports coming up. Lots of football news today. In fact, a 16-player trade completed earlier today in the Canadian Football League. Plus, more on the San Antonio Texans and their situation. Of course, they have decided not to enter the CFL for the 93 season. Greyhounds playing in North Bay tonight. We'll hear from some of the Hounds as they get ready for Game 1 of a two-game road trip. We'll check the NHL, NHL highlights, and Derek Rogers introduces us to this week's local hero. It's all coming up in two minutes. More people will know where that sultry sound is coming from. Gordon Tokumatsu for NBC News. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Good night.